You are listening to the Adult Sabbath School Lessons for the third quarter of 2022. This is lesson number seven of the Adult Sabbath School Bible Study Guide in the Crucible with Christ. The lesson is titled Indestructible Hope and is ready for teaching on August 13. The author is Pastor Gavin Anthony, who was conference president in Iceland when he wrote this series of lessons. Today, your lesson is read by Dr. Percy Harold. Sunday, August 7. The Big Picture When we are hurting, it is very easy to presume that what happens to us is the only thing that matters. But there is a slightly larger picture than just me. As we read in Revelation 12, verse 7, And war broke out in heaven, Michael and his angels fought with the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought. And Romans 8, verse 22, For we know that the whole creation groans and labours with birth pangs together until now. Read Habakkuk chapter 1, verses 1 to 4. What did Habakkuk face? Habakkuk chapter 1, beginning at verse 1, the burden which the prophet Habakkuk saw. O Lord, how long shall I cry, and you will not hear? Even cry out to you, violence, and you will not save. Why do you show me iniquity and cause me to see trouble? For plundering and violence are before me. There is strife and contention arises. Therefore the law is powerless, and justice never goes forth. For the wicked surround the righteous, therefore perverse judgment proceeds. You might expect that God would say something like, That's really terrible, Habakkuk. Let me come and help you immediately. But God's answer is the opposite. He tells Habakkuk that it is going to get worse. Read this in verses 5 to 11. Look among the nations and watch, be utterly astounded, for I will work a work in your days, which you will not believe, though it were told you. For indeed I am raising up the Chaldeans, a bitter and hasty nation, which marches through the breadth of the earth, to possess dwelling places that are not theirs, they are terrible and dreadful." Their judgment and their dignity proceed from themselves. Their horses also are swifter than leopards, and more fierce than evening wolves. Their charges charge ahead. Their cavalry comes from afar. They fly as the eagle that hastens to eat. They all come for violence. Their faces are set like the east wind. They gather captives like sand. They scoff at kings, and princes are scorned by them. They deride every stronghold, for they heap up earthen mounds and seize it. Then his mind changes and he transgresses. He commits offence, ascribing this power to his God. Israel had been taken into captivity by the Assyrians, but God promises that worse is coming. The Babylonians will now carry away the people of Judah. Habakkuk cries out again in verses 12 to 17, and then waits to see what God is going to say. Let's begin at verse 12. Are you not from everlasting, O Lord my God, my Holy One? You shall not die, O Lord. You have appointed them for judgment. O rock, you have marked them for correction. You are of purer eyes than to behold evil, and cannot look on wickedness. Why do you look on those who deal treacherously, and hold your tongue when the wicked devours a person more righteous than he? Why do you make men like fish of the sea, like creeping things that have no ruler over them? They take up all of them with a hook, they catch them in their net, and gather them in their dragnet. Therefore they rejoice and are glad, therefore they sacrifice to their net and burn incense to their dragnet, because by them their share is sumptuous, and their food plentiful. Shall they therefore empty their net and continue to slay nations without pity? How does God's introduction to the promised destruction of Babylon in Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 2 and 3, bring hope? Then the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain on tablets, that he may run who reads it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. 
Habakkuk chapter 2 is God's promise of the destruction of the Babylonians. Hebrews 10.37 quotes Habakkuk 2 verse 3, hinting of a messianic application to this promise in the future, as you read in Hebrews 10.37, And yet a little while, and he who is coming will come, and will not tarry. With the same certainty that the destruction of Babylon was promised, so we also have the certainty of the destruction of Babylon the Great, as it says in Revelation 18, verse 2. Habakkuk was trapped between the great evil surrounding him and God's promise of worse to come. Yet this is precisely where we find ourselves in salvation history. Great evil is around us, but the Bible predicts that much worse is to come. The key to Habakkuk's survival is that he is brought to see the whole picture. Therefore, in chapter 3, he is able to pray an incredible prayer of praise because of what God will do in the future. And so to finish the day, read Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 16 to 19. What does Habakkuk identify as his reasons for hope? What is the hope of God's people as we wait for the last prophetic scenes to unfold? And how can you make this hope your own. Habakkuk chapter 3, beginning at verse 16. When I heard, my body trembled, my lips quivered at the voice. Rottenness entered my bones, and I trembled in myself, that I might rest in the day of trouble. When he comes to the people, he will invade them with his troops. Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, though the labour of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock may be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord, I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength, he will make my feet like deer's feet, and he will make me walk on my high hills." to the chief musician with my stringed instruments. This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.